And let me do this integral by three methods. Now the integral itself is not really difficult, uh, but here the methods, you know, the methods, uh, the methods, of, uh, methods. We're learning the methods. That is important. You know, uh, this is a really good example for those students who are taking the basic calculus course. So here, the three methods are all very basic technique. Uh, well, the first method, I let uh, uh, theta be arctangent x. So x is equal to tangent theta, right? Obvious. Then this, it becomes a, on top will be theta, theta is arctangent. dx will be secant square theta d theta. And x square will be a tangent square tangent square theta. Then here I multiply by cosine square theta, both top and the bottom. So this will become the sine square, the denominator. The numerator will be theta and the d theta. And here, <coughs> 1 over sine square is uh, cosecant, so it becomes uh, theta cosecant square theta d theta. Yeah. And uh, Cosecant square theta d theta is a negative d cotangent theta, right? I put negative outside, no? So that will be ready for by parts. This is u, this is dv, right? u dv. So it becomes uv u times v minus become plus integral v du cotangent theta du is d theta and uh, then this is a negative theta cotangent theta plus the integral cotangent theta is a log sine theta right? plus c so the integral has been done we just put back a theta for x. You know that is quite easy using triangle, right? Uh, x tangent theta. So this is a theta, this is x, this is a one. And uh, the hypotenuse x squared plus one. So this one is equal to negative Cotangent is a 1 over t tangent. 1 over tangent is x. Right? So theta is arctangent, negative x, plus natural log sine theta. Sine theta is x over square to x plus 1 plus c. And this one you put a negative arctangent x over x plus log x minus one half log x squared plus one. This will never be negative. This is okay. So that is the answer for for this integral by method of one. It's very easy. Okay, this is the method of one. And method of two. Okay, method of two. 
Well, this integral could be written as a arctangent x. 1 over x squared is a Well, let me write one more step for right now. <laughs> this is equal to integral arctangent x. This is the derivative of 1 of x. Negative, right? We'll put leave negative outside. Now, then I can use by parts. Uh, this is u, this is v, right? So negative arctangent x over x uv minus become plus integral v du so this is a v du is a x squared plus one all right yeah dx am i right yes i uh, correct then this is a, a tangent x over x this could be written as a well we use the partial fractions right this is x this is x squared plus one and the dx now I save time that I suppose you know partial fractions so this is a right this is bx over c plus c so at the end this is a good to one this is uh, x x squared plus one minus x squared yeah you could do this correct all right that's partial fractions you can fill up the detail now this is equal to negative tangent x over x plus this integral is a log x right log x minus now that integral could be as in uh, the derivative of uh, x squared and um, times one half to make to balance the equal sign so that it be equal to negative of tangent x over x plus log x <coughs> minus half log x squared plus one plus c okay that is the same result by method two method three Method three. Now, this method uh, is, uh, is quite interesting. Now, uh, let me put this way. Okay, we have a triangle. This is a theta. This angle I call say phi. Now. Uh, phi is equal to arctangent x, which means what? Which means tangent theta is equal to x, isn't it? So this angle tangent theta is x, this is a 1. At the same time that uh, phi is arctangent 1 over x, right? 1 over x, which means tangent tangent phi is equal to 1 over x. Okay, that's that's obvious, right? Then phi plus this angle plus this angle is equal to half pi. This angle plus this is a half pi. But don't forget that the angle could be this is a unicircle one. 
this is the, this is the tangent, right? Now this is a one. This is the angle. This angle could be negative. You know, this angle could be negative. So if it angle, if x is negative, then the summation will be negative half time. So we have a sigma. Let me write again, okay? <laughs> There's no room. The this angle plus this angle is equal to sigma x of half pi. You know, sigma function is that when x is positive is a one. When x is negative is negative one. Then when x is zero is a zero. So in other words, these two angle when x is positive. It's half pi. When x is negative, there's a negative half pi because the angle could could go to second or fourth quadrant. So in other words, this is integral i. Uh, in other words, tangent inverse of x plus inverse of uh, 1 over x is equal to the uh, signal function of x half pi. Well, then uh, here my integral i will be equal to xi dx, this will be sigma of x times half x minus um, arctangent 1 of x, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, then this one is equal to segment of x half pi minus minus arctangent one of x d one of x d one of x is a negative one of x squared so I put a leave negative outside then this integral be becomes uh, this one times this one negative segment of x half pi d one of x plus negative negative plus arctangent 1 of x d 1 of x I hope everything is clear <laughs> now since this is a constant right positive half by or negative half by depends so this becomes a negative uh, sigma of x half pi over half pi over x right d one of x integral is one of x and uh, for this one I can use a uh, by paths right this is okay. one one of x times up tangent one of x yeah and uh, plus minus integral uh, one of x times this derivative which is uh, one over one over x square plus one times this derivative which is a negative 1 over x squared and the dx. 
and this one is equal to negative x signal of x times half x plus x tangent of x this one <coughs> You multiply by negative, negative, positive, right? Times x squared, so it becomes the uh, integral x, x squared plus 1 dx. After I cancel the x squared, right? Okay. So this one, <coughs> uh, I have a common factor negative 1 of x take out. This is a signum signum of x times half x minus arctangent x. That's taking these two, right? And uh, this one by as, uh, as did in the second method, this is a plus integral mm x over 1 minus x squared plus 1 x on x and dx. Okay, signum minus signum x half pi minus arctangent x is equal to arctangent 1 of x. I have some mistake here. This is by parts, right? U times V. U is the 1 of X. V is the 1 of X. U is the arctangent 1 of X. So this is the arctangent 1 of X, not X. Okay? This is arctangent 1 of X. So this is arctangent 1 of X. Sorry, this minus arctangent 1 of x is arctangent x. See, this one minus this one is this. So this one is negative arctangent x. So this is a plus log x and a minus 1 half log x squared plus 1 here. So that is the result by method three. Excuse me for there is an error here. This is one of x right? because a, u times v is this. All right. Uh, these are these three methods. All are basic, very basic, basic techniques, and uh, it's this example will be very good for those students who are taking calculus basic course and uh, three methods are uh, all basic techniques substitution, partial fractions and so on. Thank you for your watching.